More protests are planned for the days ahead, with the largest coming this Saturday. And the white soldier seen shoving a black man. He's been charged with assault. Outside the home of 42-year-old Jonathan Pentland, demonstrators gather with signs and megaphones to denounce what can be seen in this video. The Army drill sergeant and his wife telling a black man he doesn't belong in the summit, a predominantly black neighborhood near Columbia, South Carolina. You're in the wrong neighborhood, mother Get out. The man saying he was just taking a walk when it escalated. You better walk away. You walk away. When the white man stepped off his property onto a public sidewalk to harass a black man, that's where it went wrong. Lawrence Nathaniel, an organizer with Black Lives Matter South Carolina, is encouraging more demonstrations. Right now, black people cannot call for just equality. We have to call for liberation, to be liberated from the system that we have currently been under for the past 400 years. And yeah, we've seen progress change, but those progress and change hadn't been significant enough to stop a young black man from getting shot or to stop people from harassing young black people as they walk through their own neighborhoods. The Richland County Sheriff's Department confirms it responded to a call of an altercation in the neighborhood. They say people in the area complained the black men had been approaching them in a threatening manner, leading them to ask the Sergeant First Class for help. But police say the victim had an underlying medical condition when the confrontation occurred. As an individual, if you see someone that has a disability and you have people yelling that he has a disability, then why would you harass him? And the thing is, why? It's because they're easier targets to harass. Leaders at Fort Jackson, where Pentland works, are also conducting their own investigation. Pentland has been arrested and charged with assault and third degree battery. And as far as the protests, they will be held on South Carolina's capital state grounds. Therese Garnier, Newsy, Washington.